Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. We are on our way. We are on our, oh my goodness, my English is terrible. We are on the way to the notary to get this license plate, oh, to get this license plate notarized to the XJ so we can drive the XJ if you have not seen previous videos, I bought a 2005 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon from Whitmoyer here in Mount Joy. After eight miles of driving it, the check engine light came on for a misfire. Then that exact weekend, it dropped oil pressure, but it had oil in it. So I figured the sensor was going bad because it's cold and it probably got a little wet from going off road at Roush Creek. So. It always had oil in it, but dropped oil pressure every now and then after you would drive it for a little bit. But after 1,700 miles and no noticeable oil leaks, no smoking, the motor started knocking. So I was already on my way to the shop to get the Jeep lifted. And upon arriving at the shop, we checked the oil and there was no oil in the Jeep. And now Whitmoyer does not want to help me out in any way, shape, or form because I bought the vehicle as is, but it also has not been even 60 days since I last bought the Jeep, so I get it, I bought it as is, that's that, but the fact that it has not even been 60 days and now I need to replace a motor because they put the wrong oil in it or I whatever they did to it, they didn't put enough in it, whatever the case may be, there's no way the Jeep lost six to eight quarts of oil and 1700 miles in less than 60 days of owning it but that's that story that's a little a quick minute wrap on that but i need to figure out where the notary is at since they moved for the third time in the last five years and we're going to get the xj back on the road today so we'll have that to drive and we'll take tj over there and i'll let you guys listen to this terrible terrible rod knock it has all right so i just want to add this into the video not only because i'm getting i feel like i'm getting screwed over here with the whole wrangler thing but not only that but when my girlfriend had her xj it never had overheating issues it was a 2000 they were known to overheat crackheads whatever never had any of those issues when she first got it um a couple months in the water pump blew well, actually a couple months in she lifted it and they never aligned it and never aligned it right and then a couple weeks after that around that same time after it was lifted her water pump blew up they replaced the water pump and then her electric fans not working anymore and it would always overheat and then they ended up replacing a f one of the fans got replaced they didn't fix the problem i don't know what the fuck i don't even know what they did and they ended up replacing the radiator also and that didn't fix the issue so they did something wrong there and she the car i'm driving now she bought from whitmoyer and mount joy i'm just gonna keep throwing that out there whitmoyer and mount joy the car she has now she bought from there and she won't take it there to get serviced or any work done because every time it, any of her cars go in there it comes out with an issue it didn't have before so she doesn't take it there because she just doesn't want them to fix one thing and break another, which I don't blame her. But I mean, all of this all in all sucks. And I mean, also to add to the cherry on top, not only do their mechanics tend to mess up her vehicle and now I'm getting screwed over in general with mine, but I have video evidence of a employee one of the kids that work there doing a burnout in a customer Corvette. So that's three X's, three strikes are out. I always said I'd never buy a car from Whitmore and I did anyways, thinking I was being nice because one, it was my dream car and two, I was buying it from her dad. So I was helping him out by giving him the purchase under his belt, whatever they do in the auto industry like that. So, I mean, that's the only reason I really bought it from there. It was my dream car. I really wanted it too. Everybody told me I should look around before I do that, and I neglected to do so. So, I don't know if I said this already or not too, but they told me they would, the best they can do is get me a deal on a motor. 
at the cost that they would pay for it. Um, they come back to me telling me they'll get me a motor with 77,000 miles on it for $2,000 or a motor with a little over 100,000 miles on it for $1,045. So that being said, not only are they screwing me over on this motor in general with the whole Jeep, but they're trying to make money off of me because we all know, I mean, my dad, they use a website at my dad's shop. And the first motor that popped up on there was $800, less than $800. It wasn't even $800. So screw you, Whitmoyer Mountjoy. And if you're watching this, I don't recommend you taking your car there to get worked on. I don't recommend buying a car from them because on top of that, their customer service is complete garbage. I called three times on Wednesday before I got an actual answer to what I wanted. And... I had to call, they told me they would call me back on Thursday morning, which was yesterday. Didn't receive a call all day. So I called them back at five o'clock. Then I was on the phone with them for about 15 minutes and they told me it's a service issue. They'll put me through to service. Service calls me 20 minutes after they said they'd call me right away. All right, it's cold as hell in here. Can you hear that? I know you hear that. Yikes. It gets worse the warmer it gets too. Well guys, the XJ is tagged, registered, insured. I don't know where my seatbelt's at. It's been sitting since January 1st. We only started it one time and then my brother just had it in the shop. So she's she's kind of warm. Bright ass headlights. Oh God. I'm not used to have, I'm ha this has five gears in a reverse, not six gears in a reverse like the TJ. All right, but because she's not inspected, Legally, well, not at all, actually. I have to concentrate on driving, not doing anything stupid. I forgot, it. oh, I did I did kind of miss it, I'm not gonna lie. I feel pretty tall up here. The clutch feels like shit, but we're gonna drive back to the house and then I'll meet up with you guys then. All right, what do you say we do a quick little pull and get some pops in there with the second gear, yeah? All right, sounds good. guys here she is if you've never seen the xj on the channel before 33 inch pro comp mud tires four and a half inch rough country lift with the it was a add a leaf lift at first so it came with the shackle but now it has rubicon three and a half inch express springs on the back with the shackle affordable off-road front and rear bumpers um pro comp 252 series wheels i believe is what they were um kind of like a straight pipe no cat all just a little muffler 355 gears the welded rear and a five speed clutch needs some work it feels weird especially after driving the tj for a while og crank windows manual door locks you know how we do it um and a snorkel that is no longer hooked up because the tire rubbed the hell out of it and broke it but here's the xj the tj is at the shop as you heard the rod knock is just it's terrible on top of whatever misfire fueling issues the thing was having so it needs a new motor um don't really know how i'm going to afford a new motor right now if you if you've seen one of my most recent videos i said there wasn't going to be any jeep stuff coming to the channel because financially i'm stumped right now we are moving at the end of this month and we have to pay rent at this place and rent at the new place on the same day 
and then the motor goes and takes a shit a couple days later so we had to spend $85 to get this re-registered and back on the road um I'm sorry if you guys hear wind noise we'll stand behind the jeep but yeah so financially I'm stumped I don't know how I'm going to afford a motor but for now we're gonna drive this illegal ass thing she's loud I hope you guys enjoyed the exhaust stuff I think we just found a motor for the TJ. I'll be right back, hold on. So guys, there it is, there's an update video for you with what's going on. If you are interested in to see what's going on next, look out for next video because I'm hopping into everything all in the same day. But if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Peace out, don't buy a car from Whitmore.